let's take a quick look at problem 84 in chapter one. This is a homework problem according to the book, chapter one, section three, problem 84. So they want us to fill in this relative frequency and cumulative relative frequency, and then answer these questions below. Let's fill this in quickly. These are CEOs of firms which have been publicly traded for a year with a price, stock price of at least $5 a share and have reported an annual revenue between 5 million and 1 billion. So this is the ages of the chief executive officers of these first 60 ranked films, firms. So I'll just give you some background information, but this is just raw data. Notice they said there were 60 ranked firms. So if we add up all the records that they took, three firms had CEOs between age 40 and 44. Six firms had CEOs age 65 to, to 69. If we add up these records, add up these frequencies, we should have 60 CEOs. Three plus 11, 14, plus 13 is 27, plus 16 is 43, plus 10 is 53, plus six is 59, plus one more is 60. So it's good, these do actually add up to 60. The relative frequency is three divided by 60 in the first case. And that's also equal to one divided by 20. And I'm gonna report the relative frequency as a decimal place rounded to the nearest four decimal places. So let's call that 0 0.50500. And now I'm gonna fill in the rest of these. The book often writes these as fractions, but I can write these also as decimal numbers, four decimal places. So as fractions, these are the relative frequencies. And then I can check with a calculator to estimate rounding to the fourth decimal place. So 11 divided by 60, I'm not gonna show you my calculator right here, but this is gonna be 0 0.1833 rounded. I could call these approximately equal to, but since we both understand that we're rounding, I'll just write the four digits rounded to the nearest fourth place. So this is 2167, 0 0.2167. And I fill in 16, I'll fill in these as quickly as I can. 0 0.2667, 10 divided by 60, 0 0.1667, 6 divided by 60 is 1 tenth, so it's 0 0.1000 exactly and one divided by 60, 0 0.0167. The cumulative relative frequency is adding everything that comes before this entry plus this entry. So everything up to this point, I can think about that again as fractions or as decimals, but graphing it or having a machine graph it for me, it may be more convenient to think of these as decimals, as fractions. 3 sixtieths plus 11 sixtieths is 14 sixtieths plus 13 sixtieths is 27 sixtieths. I'm not often writing these as fractions, but I'm just illustrating that you can. 53 sixtieths, 59 sixtieths, and 60 over 60, which is equal to one. When you do the cumulative relative frequency, the last entry needs to be one. Now, as decimals, I could just add these as I go along, but I will actually perform the fraction so I get the closest estimate I can, right? So the first entry is certainly 0 0.5, 0 0.0500. 
the next entry add the first two, I'll get 0 0.2333. And you can check on your calculator, that's 14 divided by 60. And the next entry, add 2167, which is going to give me 4, 4, and then another 1 rounded off, 4, 5, 0. Let's try that, 27 divided by 60. That's 0 0.4500, 0, 0, exactly. 43 divided by 60, 0 0.7167, 53 divided by 60, 0 0.8833, 59 divided by 60, 0 0.9833, 3, and of course, 1, 1. 1.0000. Now, I could have added these numbers as they came to get to these cumulative frequency entries. And I might have had some round off error from time to time. For example, adding 0.7167 and 1667 would give me 8788. Three four. If you add that up, 0. 0.8834. And there's a rounding error there, but since I've used a, sig a good number of digits here, I'm not concerned about that rounding error in this case. We'll talk about being exact later. Let's check out these questions. What's the frequency of the CEO ages between 54 and 65? Well, that would be this category 55 to 59 and 60 to 64. There are 26 of them. The frequency is 26. The relative frequency is 26 over 60, but just the frequency is 26. What percentage of CEOs are 65 years or older? Well, then we're going to add the category 65 to 69 and 70 to 74. And the percentages will be these relative frequencies added together. So That'd be 0 0.1167. Now that is a percentage. Remember, percent means divide by 100. So that's 11.67%. Or if you like, you can shorten that to 11.7% in this case. We'll talk more about how many digits we should use later. What's the relative frequency? of ages under 50. Well, here's the cumulative relative frequency coming into play here. Ages under 50 will be these first two entries and the accumulated percentage, accumulated relative frequency up to that point is 2333, 0.2333. So approximately 23% of the CEOs of these companies are under, younger than age 50, under age 50. What's the cumulative relative frequency for CEOs younger than 55? Again, I read this column. Here's the entry 55 to 59. I want everything younger than 55. That's accumulated to 45% right there, 0. Four five zero zero. Notice that the relative frequency of ages under 50, that would be this number plus this number, is the same as the cumulative relative frequency of persons in this entry from 45 to 49. So these two columns are working together. Which graph below? And I'll slide this up now. Which graph below indicates the relative frequency and which indicates the cumulative relative frequency? Well, they're both labeled in relative frequency terms, but the cumulative relative frequency, remember, adds up to one. So this is the accumulation. At first, there's not many CEOs. 
between 40 and 44. But then if you add those two, you get a larger group. And if you add this group in here, every time you add another group in, you get more and more of the whole population till by the time you reach 70 to 74, you've got 100% one relative cumulative relative frequency of one of all the CEO surveyed. This graph is the relative frequency. It tells you that there's not many CEOs of these companies between 40 and 44. And there's not many CEOs of these companies between 70 and 74. You know, the looks like most of the companies have CEOs in the 50 to 54, 55 to 59 range, and good number between 60 and 64, 45 to 49. So this is a distribution. This is called a relative frequency distribution. This is the cumulative, if I spell it out, relative frequency distribution.